So I just finished cutting the grass, and there's this type of, I don't know if it's a clover, a true clover, but the purple flowers I really like. I didn't have the heart to cut it down. I mowed the lawn. Ooh, big lawn. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> I, there's the Echinacea, or however you care to say it. Not much of it this year. Um, I got the sunscreens up as from the last video. The bees and the butterflies really like these flowers. I hate to cut them down. It's the uh, daikon radishes that are blooming the white there. Uh, in the middle I have either cauliflower or Brussels sprouts. Oh, there's one weed I gotta get. But anyways, the clover, I did not see any blooms on the clover and I thought, well, yeah, it's a uh, uh, genetically mutated, I'm sure. And this, the little crumbles here, are from those lousy, you can hear one right in there. That's a mole cricket. And they dig just under the soil and eat my roots. Kill the little dogs. Anyways, good news is Verbana. It's not completely gone. I was so happy to see one blooming. I just pulled a big, well, killed some clover, darn it. But I got a big clump of grass I had to get out. Uh, basil going to bloom already. And it's just a jungle in there. That's what Olga calls it. Our garden looks like a jungle. So I want to cut that out. Something's been eating those. I don't know what. Uh, the daikon radish, I don't want the flowers to turn to seed. Because this is all an experiment. The tomatoes are very nice back there. And this pepper plant is just struggling. Uh, marigolds. The peas were in there in the green beans, but they just are not doing well. Even on the other fence, they were not well. Uh, that tomato is just a monster. And you can see the dill peeking up over there. I have, oh, a nice green, couple of green tomatoes in there. I'll see more once I cut the flowers down. A little bitty tomato on here. Oh, here it's going to seed already. You can see the pods. Woof, got to get rid of that stuff. There's from last winter, last fall I should say. And the other one is still over there. Dill is just doing tremendously over there. Uh, some more of that clover stuff with the purple flowers. That cabbage or, I got the marker down there somewhere. Cabbage or Brussels sprouts. Doing okay, not, not well, but okay. Uh, my clover is just predominantly there. Got to cut all this stuff down. I'll refer. Ah, paint chipping off here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sure made in China, cheap stuff. Uh, <coughs> neighbors, another little tomato. He's doing okay. Here's the millet left over from the bird seed. A little dill there volunteering seed must have got washed down during a rain and just sprouted there again I got to cut all this back that'll be in part two my refuse sunflowers I had one pointing north and that fell down I don't know where it went maybe it was that one I don't recall but it's pointing north because that was the edge of the sunscreen so that was the brightest amount of Sun more echinacea one over here and finally one clover flower bud going there I kind of say away in the back corner so I have to cut all this down stay tuned for part two